Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome to Club Belvedere France, the highest rated course on the game to date, which is PGA Tour 2K21. You will not be surprised that it was designed by the very talented Arctic Fury. So, we are leaving everything at default. Fairways are firm, greens are normal and green speed is fast. As you can see, I was currently through five holes, five under, four under, sorry, through five. I got an error report, lost all my recordings. So by the time we get to the fifth hole, we'll probably be six over in this round. But we are going to be taking this course on on the black tees, which are playing 6,833 yards. But this is a course to which I love playing on the Golf Club 2019. Really looking forward to see how it plays on the version on the PGA Tour 2K21. Look out for the France flag here on the right hand side of the tee box. Look at that, beautiful. But this is going to be an opening par 5. It's quite a long par 5 actually. Let's just try and find left hand side of this fairway. Oh, not the best uh, swing tempos or swing lines there, but it's going to work out well for us. Will leave us a long approach shot into this first green, which is protected by the tree there. But we are going to have three wood, just going to fully loft this up. Should land just front edge of the green, maybe on a fairway and hopefully kick on and set us up for an eagle putt. That is a fantastic strike by the way. Look at the minimal timing we had there. We got it perfectly um, straight almost as well. Is that going to hold the green? It does hold the green. We are going to have a pin high putt for eagle here. We'd love to kick things off with an eagle. Green speeds are 187, so they are lightning quick here. This one is going to turn from the left to the right. Good putt line. Oh, it's tracking well. And what a start to the round. It is always great to get an eagle on the opening hole. It's certainly going to give me a confidence boost. But this is a fictional course, guys. Obviously situated in France. I think it's the rustic theme. But look at this for a challenge in par 3. We are going to try... And just let the wind bring us around here. If we are too long, we are going to work our way all the way off the green. But I'm hoping with the amount of loft we've applied. And if we can just kick into this bank at the front of the green here, it may well hold us up. And use that green to our advantage. It's another good strike with perfect. Just try to kick into this bank to hold us up. Maybe going to be a little bit long. Just missed the front of the bank but it is going to hold the green and we are going to have another putt pin high for birdie so 21 feet two inches down not a lot of movement in this one to be fair the brakes are kind of counteracting each other right but just going right edge of this cup i am just tapping these putts by the way these greens are lightning quick and it's another fantastic putt great read great execution and we are three under through the first two opening holes of this round. Hole number three. This is a short par four. Placement of the tee box in this course, guys, as you would expect from an Arctic Fury co um, course, is um, crucial. So just looking to use the slope in this fairway. It is going to kick left. I would imagine it's going to set us up for a pitch shot. Still not a strong point in my game. I don't think any point of this, uh, any part of this game is a strong point for me yet. But this truly is a majestic course, guys. I think this is one of my favourite Arctic Fury designs to date. So we're going to fully deal off this. Uh, fully loft this. Should just stop stone dead almost. Hopefully it doesn't spin back too much. There we go. Great execution. And it should set us up for a good birdie chance from seven feet. We really have been dialed into these greens so far. But why? What a start to the round. We are four under through three holes. But the par threes from Arctic Fury are just so unique. And you instantly know that he's designed the course when you look at his par threes. They really are just to be cherished to be honest but just playing this nine iron just deal off the this got the slight fast i don't think that's going to affect us too much this should have a good chance of stopping pin high go on turn towards the pin and that is another fantastic shot 
really feeling the game so far this round. But these greens are lightning quick. But with a normal firmness, they really complement each other really, really well. I would imagine if the greens were firm, this would be a totally different ball game and be so unrealistic. We have actually covered a few courses on the channel, guys, with firm greens, and they're just, for me, it takes the realistic ball physics that we do now have in the game out of the equation. So this six mile per hour wind should take us round. Fairway's going to kick left. I think we've hit every shot perfect so far. No, I do lie. We did hit a slight fast on the previous hole in the par three. Ooh, let's see if we can just chase us up there. Hopefully find the slope on that green. At worst, we'll be stuck at the top part of that green, which is going to be a nightmare with these 187 speeds. Slope and the wind should counteract each other. Slight fast. Come on, please kick hard left and find the slope at the top. No, it's not going to find it. This is going to be a nightmare putt. I don't think we'll be able to stop this close to the pin. 46 feet. Down one foot. It's really going to swing aggressively to the left. Just pulling this back a good bit on the pattern cursor, guys, because I'm just touching this. Just, oh, well, look at that, just gain speed. It should leave us a makeable putt coming back up the, the slope for birdie, but wow, I just touched that. And it was still far too long. 61 feet that ball travelled. Oh, it's going to do it. I thought we were going to get the error report again. This is exactly what happened to me. I was on the green and boom. So, wow. I am still having a lot of issues with this game, guys. A lot of inconsistent things happening to me. But fortunately, we pick up the birdie. And we are six under here, guys. Six under through the first five holes. What a start. But the thing with this course is... In this game, one mistake, and that six under becomes four under, three under. Ooh, options here, split fairway. Let's take the right-hand side. I think we should carry that bunker comfortably with a downhill elevation here. Slight fast, which shouldn't affect me too much, but I actually unlocked this driver playing the career mode. This is my second round with it, and I'm so in love with it, guys. It's an HP Studios driver. I'm uh, um, really, really enjoying it. But look at the water here. The attention to detail that he has in each of his courses, guys, is just fantastic. I mean, I'll be honest. I am not talented enough or creative enough to, uh, or patient enough to design a course, guys, but I think I would feel inadequate. Um, as a designer, when I see some of the stuff that Arctic Fury throws out there. So try to spin this back off the slope. Oh, what an execution. Fantastic execution. Should spin back. How's that not spun? Really expected that to spin back. But once again, doesn't look like there's too much movement in this putt. Just got to keep your putt line straight, which I think I've just about achieved. And it does sneak in. And we are seven under. Wow. I think this is the best start I've made to any round on this game to date. But hole number seven. Oh, now I think we can find that lower part of this fairway if we are brave enough to come over the trees. I'm certainly going to take this on. But what a masterpiece this is, guys. And like I say, it's the highest rated course on the game. It's currently sitting... It's the first course if you go to the highest rated option. Nailed the perfect. Oh, look at that. That could run on for days. Obviously, there is other courses that are five star, but this is the one that is top of the, the leaderboard, let's say. And for me, I can certainly see why. Oh, we're really going to be in between clubs here. We're really going to have to um, loft this and try and spin this all the way back. Still think we may be a little bit long due to this slight downhill slope. 
Right, let's see if we can get this spinning back or at least sitting down as quickly as possible. Swing timing is now so narrow due to all the, the loft we've put on this, but we nail it. So far, very happy with my swing timing and swing line this round. Oh, is it going to come back? It's not a bad effort. Probably about 15 feet past. 15 feet bang on. This is going to be another tough putt. This one is really breaking hard from the right to the left. But that's one thing I love about Arctic Fury's courses, guys. Get in. Oh, my goodness. We were so unlucky there. Every course has a story. Every course has a location. And he just takes his time. You know, you get a lot of designers, oh, I'm going to throw a course out, spend 20, 30 hours on it. And the final product is just nowhere near good enough. Take your time on your courses, guys. Have pride in your course. And us players will reap the rewards for that. And you'll reap the rewards from your course being showcased and all the players speaking highly of it. Just try to hit this tree here. See if we can get through it. Put the perfect on it, but I've pushed that right. I meant the tree on the left-hand side, not this tree. I don't think that's going to kick out. Oh, my goodness. We are stuck right behind this tree trunk. I don't think we really have a shot. There's a green slope. It does, so we could try and catch that slope. So I'm actually applying a lot of draw to this. Pitching wedge. I think pitching wedge is going to leave us the, the best option for the coming out of this rough. But can we reach the top of that green and can we get it filtering down towards the, the pin? Oh, it's a decent execution. I have pushed it right, though. I don't think it's going to find that slope. And that is going to be another nightmare putt, to be honest. This is going to be another putt that's going to be so hard to get it to stop. It is two feet down, and especially with these 187 greens. Ooh. Okay, it's really going to break hard. She really turned hard right now. It's not turning that much. Ah, see, that just totally picked up pace. That's going to trickle off. This could go down the slope here. There we go. I think I said a few holes back. And the majority of Arctic Fury's courses, it is imperative. It's so, so crucial that you do find fairway off the tee. I mean, I can't recall many Arctic Fury courses that are past 7,000 yards from the tips, but... Um, Due to the, the guy's fantastic sculpting and the way he lays out a course, um, you've really got to be so accurate off the tee or you are going to be punished. I mean, some of the holes here, he's forcing you to play. He's dictating how you're going to play this course or this hole. Tell you what, we should get a slight kick left here. Really push that one right. I am still trying to go back to my Golf Club 2019 swing, but that swing has been with me for about six, seven years. Um, I think it's just autopilot. But I am so, so trying hard to sing from, swing from six to 12. Okay, this should carry. Just hopefully short of the pin, but once again, these downhill slopes, that's a far better swing. Ah, it's really, that's launched off that downhill slope. I never seem to judge that downhill slope um, as good as I should. And that's going to be another um, downhill putt from 26 feet. I'm so glad he decided on the, the normal firmness for these greens here. I would say they're kind of softer normal rather than um, firmer normal, but... With these fast greens, that could have a chance of dropping. Oh, look how it just picks up pace there, guys, with these green speeds. Um, I think firm greens in here would just be such an unrealistic experience. But I'll take par there. Steadying the ship after the bogey on the previous hole. But solid front nine. Six under. But one, look at this. It's like a moat. Round the green here, guys. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. 118 yards down, 24 feet. Eight miles. Some wedge should get there. This should just land front of the green, I would imagine. 
Let this win carry us. Great. Oh, slight fast, but that's going to help us out. Oh, it's came up short. Oops, that one went bye -bye. Right. I'm going to take that again because I am convinced that should have made it. Okay, I'm just going to deal off it a few touches this time, but I am amazed that came up so short. I was hoping that would land at least light rough and kick forward. Huge uh, error of judgment from me. Pushed it right, but this is just going to make it up again and no more. That's what I tried to do the first time, but I fully expected that to carry a lot longer than what it did. So, silly mistake. Got to chip this in for bogey. I think this is going to be a double bogey at least. It's got a chance of running out. So, double bogey there, guys, due to a, a silly error. So, we went bogey, double bogey. And we are back to four under. And like I say, this is what this game can do to you. Especially on a an Arctic Fury course. But I can't believe I misjudged that as much as that. I really expected that pitching wedge to have enough yardage. So we are going to have to just draw this round this tree. The winds really fluctuate when you play default. I mean, what have we had? We've had 10 mile per hour winds now down to three. I think this is going to kick hard right due to the sculpting, yeah. And that is just such a talented designer, guys. He's saying to you, you're not having to have a, a, an easy approach shot into this fifth green. You're going to have to accommodate or navigate that tree. But we will not be taking that on due to the, the toughness of that green. I think we can filter this all the way down and leave a pitch shot. Good strike. Looks like this is going to carry all the way down to the bottom of this uh, tiered fairway. Should leave us a pitch. But just the detail in and around these greens are just absolute majestic. 60, 52 yards down 6 feet. There is a slope there we can use. So fully spinning this back. Try to spin it back off the slope. And hopefully set up birdie. Slight slow may help us out. That should spin all the way back down this slope. There we go. It's actually working its way away from the pin, but it should leave us pin high. Very happy with that outcome. This putt is for and we do have an 11 foot putt. Very little movement in this one. Oh, I've pushed that right. Oh, fortunately, we didn't get punished too much there on the putt line. And we pick up a birdie and get to five under par. Look at these tight, narrow fairways in some of these holes, guys. But really liking this new driver, like I said. Timing's been really good. Our previous round at um, Oakmont, I mean, I scrambled to get that six under. Didn't play particularly well. My swing timing, my swing line was way off. But this is a far more enjoyable and realistic golfing experience. So just almost try to float this into that bank there. Oh, I've put a slow. That is going to miss the green to the right, I would imagine. May kick left here. No, kick straight forward. I think that's actually the first slow I've put on. Or I've executed in this round. But this is another tough putt for birdie. I don't want to overshoot this, guys, because if we do, that ball's just going to trickle all the way off the green. To the left hand side. We are really being punished for um, poor approach shots on this course. That's came up way short. You see I had it in my head. I didn't want to go long. All right, par this is a really part of me important par putt. Just going to have to play this dead weight. I am hardly moving this putter head back at all. And that is a great putt. That actually feels like a birdie. But what a start we had to this round. Two mistakes. Which contributed to a bogey and a double bogey. But once again, look at the rock feature there. 199 yards, down 39. Really in between clubs here. I think we're going to have to go 
four iron here. Allow that wind to take us round and just hope we get the get the perfect. Oh, that wind's changing to seven. Ah, uh, see, I normally put a tiny fast on that shot. But going to be happy with the yardage. Just the wind took us round a little bit. I was expecting to play fast there to help counteract the wind. But happy with that. So not pull putt. 30 feet. We are pin high. I mean, that front nine, we were dialed into the, the pins. Ah, push that right. Tell you what though, it's coming, but I've not hit it hard enough. Oh my goodness, just coming up short for the birdie. But we do walk away with a par. So we're going to remain at five under par. Certainly the back nine is playing more challenging than the front nine for me. Oh, I'm going to, I don't want to leave a pitch. Five wood's risky. No, I'm going to take on the five wood. That nine mile per hour wind should move us comfortably to the right and hopefully leave a full wedge into this green. Because that looks a brutal pin location. Slight fast, that wind should comfortably counteract that. That looks such a narrow green from the distance. So, we've made the... Oh my goodness! Look at the detail past the green though, guys. That's the beauty of co if his course is actually distracts you at times, you know. Maybe that's his intention. I'm just going to try and use that slope. This should filter down with the wind. Yardage should be really good. Oh, put a slight fast on that. Are we going to find that slope? Yeah, that should find the slope. That should hopefully work its way down. Come on. How's that stayed up? I'm sure that was a red line. Oh my goodness. This is brutal. Can't believe that actually stayed up there. I am just tapping this once again. Hardly bringing the putter back. Uh, look at the speed that's picked up. Get in, get in, get in. Oh my goodness. Please stop. Oh, that could be another mistake. 17 feet that has went by. That is a bit of a brutal pin location there, to be honest. But, I should have uh, maybe opted to play safer and find the right-hand side of the pin. That's what I'm saying, guys. Check your environment. Study the greens. Weigh up your options, what you think the best shot is. Um, but I'm such an aggressive player, guys. I tried to find the slope. I didn't. But look at this for a hole. Hole number 15. Beautiful short par four. I'm going to come down to the three wood. I'm trying to find the bunker here, to be honest. Right, you're in the water, so slow could put me in trouble, but I'm just trying to kick into the bunker here. A little bit of a fast. Should kick right, though. Hopefully we are going to be left with a, a little splash shot. So 21 yards. Up 7 feet. This should be bang on. Just loft and uh, de -loft in this a touch. It should run out. Anything right at the pin should work well. Oh, that was a huge slope. Yardage is fantastic, and that should leave us with a very makeable putt for the birdie, which we do convert, and we move back to six under par. So slowly getting back to where we were. I think we were eight under until the... Or was it seven under? I can't recall now, guys. This is an uphill par four. Wind should take us round here. Beautiful swing. This is probably going to kick left, but hopefully it doesn't kick us too far left. But just the scalping off his fairways, guys. Like I say, on this course, he's going to dictate eight times out of ten how you've got to play this hole. Try to kick this on. Really in between clubs here. Four iron. It's not going to get there. Going to have to go with three hybrid. Just de lofting. Eh, just lofting this up a touch, sorry. The wind should bring us back round. Slope at our feet should move us to the right. I've put 
pushed that one slightly right. The wind should take us around, though. It's taking us around nice. How's our luck with the kick? Oh, it's kicked right. Not the worst if it comes, though. See if we can chip this in from eight yards out. Nope. Put a fast on it, and that's just going to trickle past the left-hand side. But some of these holes are brutally tough here, guys, despite the the lack of yardage. So, this is a short par 4. I'd imagine the guys with the, the drivers that can carry 290, depending on the wind, could actually drive this. Oh, I've put a slow. It's the only shot I didn't want to play there. I can't see that coming out of the rough, to be honest. Oh, wow, early. That is a poor shot. Didn't expect the slope. Oh, right. If we can find that slope. So fully deal off than is almost. Just to try and get this running out. Find that bank. And let it filter down towards the pin. Got the perfect. That is a beautiful shot. Please be the club. Go on, that should run out. That should run all the way down towards the pin, hopefully. And that really is a fantastic shot. Great recovery. I do think that is one of the strongest points of my game, guys, is scrambling. And that's going to be an 8-foot putt for the birdie. Good putt, good weight. And we do walk away with another birdie and get back to 7-under with one hole to play. I feel the way I've played, we are um, more deserving of a better round than 7-under, but just that silly mistake... Or two mistakes that I did made for the bogey and the double bogey. Looks like a fair way off the tee here. This is going to leave us a long approach shot. Certainly looking at the um, layout of the land here. I want to be on the right hand side. Try and find the right hand side of that green and kick it over. So I'm going to have to come up over this tree here almost. Perfect strike. Oh, don't hit the tree. This should kick left. Oh, we have avoided the tree. Talk about a bit of luck there. And look at that for a shot, guys. What a shot into the final green. But I have really enjoyed this course, guys. I think this is the best course I have played on the game to date. It just plays far superior than what it did on the Golf Club 2019, in my opinion. There we go. We pick up the birdie and we do finish it eight under par. So what an exciting round, guys. Plenty of ups, moments of downs, but we'll take that. So that is it for today's video, guys. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed it. If you are new to the channel, hit subscribe button. And until the next video, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.